All right, so right now, actually at the RV dealership right now, the RV is finally in. So um, just keep in mind, this is an RV that I ordered in May. I was supposed to receive it in July, but because of the pandemic and all the supply issues, um, did not actually come in until December. So this thing was pushed back multiple times, probably about a good six times or so. And um, just now finally getting it here in December, the end of December, right before Christmas. Um, so doing a little walkthrough, you know what I'm saying, to check it out, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, everything's connected, everything's hooked up, everything is running properly, you know what I'm saying, before they actually deliver it. Um, I did not elect to actually go ahead and drive it myself, hook it up to a truck and drive it myself because I'm not doing that. I'd rather uh, let the dealership do it, pay a little extra money, let the dealership do it, and that way um, the onus is on them. So that way any type of insurance claims, this, that, and the other, you know what I'm saying, they will be responsible for that, you know what I'm saying, upon delivery. Um, just a little game right there. And that way I don't have to drive this thing uh, four hours on the highway to get it to the... Uh, to get it to the site you feel me um we have to come through cincinnati columbus you know what i'm saying all that you're not doing it you feel me so uh yeah man about to do a uh, quick walk through do some paperwork you know what i'm saying and uh we'll be good to go man i'll probably do another video when it get delivered to the site you know what i'm saying because that'll be coming up in another few days so you know what i'm saying i'll probably do that so that way y'all can see how everything turns out with that you feel me let's get it all right so I'm at the dealership right now. We are about to give you um, a quick walk around. Um, my thing is, I just want to make sure that everything is in working condition. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything is intact. You know what I'm saying? Um, before I go in here and fill out this paperwork and fully commit to this purchase. Uh, now, one thing I will mention is this. Uh, with this dealership, what's really nice is that for all the campers that are here for pickup or being delivered, uh, to the customers, they put them inside. So this is all in this huge uh, garage, you know. Uh, there's other campers in here and other people looking at theirs as well, but this was getting us out of the element. It is December, so we're not in that cold and that chill. Um, so kudos to them for being forward thinking and actually having the infrastructure to set it up like this. Um, now also just to get into this, remember, I ordered this in May of 2021. Now, with all the supply chain issues and materials issues and delays, at that time, I was getting a 2021 brand spanking new. Um, and now that it is December, they actually gave us an automatic upgrade to a 2022 model. Um, it wasn't free to charge because it just the upcharge of all the increases, everything ended up being about $4,000 more um, now that it actually is here. Uh, which would have came regardless just because of the issue with, like I said, with the supply chains, materials, increase on materials, what have you. Um, but as you notice from my previous videos, I also mentioned that uh, originally I was not supposed to have a stainless steel uh, refrigerator. And I was kind of upset about that. But in this 2022, with everything that happened in 21, they actually do have the stainless steel refrigerators in here. And ironically, I didn't even get a good shot of it. But it's a stainless steel um, refrigerator in there, so it matches all the other appliances, so I'm really happy about that. Um, but everything in here looks as good as the model version that I gave you guys a walkthrough of previously on the podcast here. Um, I'm excited about it. So another, up, another uh, change or upgrade in this 2022 is that the decor uh, of the bathroom is actually completely different. Um, I like it. It was actually, I look at it as an upgrade. So right here, we actually have the bottom shelf. That was closed before. We got the gray, uh, I don't know, subway tiling, if you want to call it that, in the back. Um, that was different and was not that color. So I'm actually happy about that. That works out for me. No complaints there. Um, but everything looks good, man. So I'm about to do a uh, follow-up with you guys to the actual, actual delivery of the vehicle because that was something else. It's close, it's close.
so not really clearing this tree right here so they got these posts uh the posts on the other side over there we just have to saw that thing down get it out the way clear some room Yeah, man, we officially got it in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, inside, everything is kind of closed up because the pop out is in. The pop out is in. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you'll see it blocked off right there. Kind of dark. Ain't got no lights on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the nightfall is about to come, but we got it done. You feel me? We was trying to make sure we got this thing in before the. Uh, before the uh, sky got too dark, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know it get dark about 5:15, 5:30 now. So we got it done. It took a while. It took a while, but we finally got it here. You know what I'm saying? This is literally Christmas Eve. You know what I'm saying? 2021. You feel me? So it's officially here now. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get everything together with it. It's off season right now. Like I said, it's December 24th, uh, Christmas Eve. You know what I'm saying? So obviously we won't be um, doing too much in this thing right now. Just getting everything together while this weather is still decent. Um, I'm shocked we ain't got no snow or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to take advantage of it. Get these last couple things done. And then uh, come the spring, the shop will be open. You know what I'm saying? For recreational purposes and also for that extra Airbnb income. You feel me? So yeah man show be easy man well, I'm, I'm happy we finally got it here it took a while but uh it was all worth it you know what i'm saying gave us plenty of time to get all everything done with the property with the land you know what i'm saying so it's here and we good to go you feel me